Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I'm the Mysterious JG, and we're just about ready to start the Honest Hearts uh, quest. So here's the entrance to the Northern Passage. We go in here, a DLC should trigger. Unless I'm mistaken, and I don't think I am. Okay, you guys. Hey, there's a lady in the leather armor, like uh, we wear. We should hook up. Jed Masterson and Stella. Stella! Looking to join this caravan, huh? Looks to me like you can handle yourself. Looks to me like you're wearing leather armor. She's not wearing leather armor, the other person is. I don't know what her outfit's called. Earning my key. Maybe it's just a variation. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. Jed. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. I need to avoid human contact. Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Well, it's pretty much all blasted wasteland, isn't it? Tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. It was Caliente. got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power. Always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. Then I failed and failed. It wasn't the died. 80s or the White Legs raiding. It was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Well, you don't win arguments with shotguns. They don't really talk. To protect. So, now I do this. Shoot the folks I don't care about protecting. Um... Are the 80s a gang or a tribe? Or is it just some kind of horrible VH1 flashback show? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Well... Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. <laughs> so the you're, like, surrounded by, um, wasn't much elf of them. cosplayers. So for home. Made it back to Caliente without totally further that, losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. I uh, talked over what happened to the horse, so. Us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. I really hope the 80s fight you with, like, Rubik's Cubes and shit. Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the desert rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Who apparently doesn't care about Soon Caliente. Enough, the white legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Why would they do that? If they're like a, if they, if they are truly raiders, they raid other settlements for stuff. Why break down transportation infrastructure? I don't know. This uh, voice actress is really giving me pause. She does not seem to. I don't know. Kind of stuck. Sucks. It seems like. Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Sounds pretty neat. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. That means skull place. The scuzz factors off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So you are I got wearing my ass out of there while I outfit. still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Naive, huh? What do you know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided... Oh, she already told us this. Good bark. Catch you another time, then. Hey, Ricky, what a guy. You just find you blow my mind. Hey, you Ricky. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Wow, is this what vault dwellers seem like to everyone else? Unwarranted hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? He's a psycho! What is crazy? Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! You do anything around here besides talk too much? I see you're wearing a pit boy in a vault suit. How much psycho you got stashed away? If you run out of the trail, the withdrawal's not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. But, uh, just talking hypno theoretically here. Hypno theoretically. Got any 
making suggestions? I got Psycho to sell, but it won't come cheap. Yeah, leave now before the withdrawal hits you on the trail. No Psycho for miles. Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die. Huh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Boop. <laughs> I think I know what he was going to say there. Uh, I wonder what our dialogue options are with him. Uh, laptop still has internet, but it's not really close to hand, so I'm just going to kind of figure this out. You looking for trouble, bud? So you're wearing a Pip-Boy and a vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a Pip-Boy and a vault suit. So what? Where do you get a vault suit? What do you use the Pip-Boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. I have a pit boy too, you Basically, know. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? <laughs> I don't like this Jed guy. Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Did you notice I'm wearing a pit boy too? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you've got one. Your pit boy isn't working. The screen's locked up and the reboot button is missing. I don't think your pit boy works. Bullshit! Ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, pit boy! This is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after anyways? Carry some of my gear and I'll keep my mouth shut. I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jet I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. Oh, let Jed know you're ready to go once you're alone and carrying 100 pounds or less, huh? Hey, hey! God. All right. All Three for ninety caps. Three hits. Like that's gonna hold. Where do you get the vault suit? Where the fuck you think? Vault two two. <laughs> two that's two. where I grew up. You're lying. I've been to Vault twenty two. No one's lived there in one hundred fifty years. Oh. You've been to Vault 2, too, huh? I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got this suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? All right, hurry. Right. You want anything besides talk too much? You want to know what I do, bud? Anything I fucking want. Jeez. I'm one of a kind. I've been playing. I don't think we're meant to like and him. Done things. Lots of them. And when it's time to kill shit up, hell yeah, I'm a fucking storm of death. Something or someone make the mistake of crossing Ricky? I'll fucking dead eye him, her, or it. In fact, yeah, in fact, that's my nickname. Dead Eye Ricky. That's my name. Starting now, I assume. Dead Eye, huh? How'd you get that nickname? Just now. Uh, how you think? I shoot things in the eye. That's how good I am. Yeah, I'm that good. Why, uh, once I got jumped by three death jaws. Oh, uh, see, it's humorous because it's actually, Imagine they're called that. death claws. But I didn't panic because, because I never panic. What I did was become a storm of death. Shot He's a, every one of them yeah, I had a friend in college who, as a child, had written a, uh, written a screenplay called Death Bolt which was about a bolt of pure death that came from the sky. And that reminded me of it. Uh, death claws, huh? Yeah, whatever. No, no, you heard me right. Death jaws. They're like death claws, but bigger teeth. And no claws. Or there was the time one of them steel brotherhood assholes made the mistake of messing with this, me. The comedy here's a bit weak. Ever made. What, you're, you're saying that you killed a brotherhood of steel pelt? What's it sound like I'm saying? If I was saying what you said I was saying, 
Then yeah, I said it. You I was sorry. walking along, minding my own, and up pops one of them brotherhoods. He yells, hand over that laser rifle, asshole. So I hand it over, just to make him think I'm scared. But really, I'm not. I never am. I'm just addicted to psychos. Before he knows what hit him, I draw my 11 millimeter machine gun, and bam, bam, right through the eye slit in his helmet. DOA. Disciples of Apocalypse. Power armor training, what a load of crap. The eye slits of a T-series power armor are bulletproof. Too bad there's no such thing as an 11 millimeter submachine gun. Do you have any other special skills or abilities? Then I guess this dumb fucker's armor must have been D-series or something. Yeah. All I know is, he died up real dead when I killed him, okay? Well, I wonder if the I other thing would have given me experience. West, no, so, well. Yeah, I grew a third nut that glows in the dark. Wow. <laughs> yep. So I can carry more weight thanks to that, I think. We are not going back into that uh, vault, so I think we're okay saving over that. Guess I need to dismiss Eddie and the gang. Uh, where did Raul end up? Raul is right over here. I don't know what's going on in this path. Yeah, it's just decorative. Uh, journey to the Zion Valley. Okay, probably can't do that till I actually talk to these guys. But yeah, this next DLC is uh, supposed to be actually open world. It's like a little. It's like um, if you've played Fallout 3, it'll be a bit like um, ah, I forget what it's called. The one that's set in like the the crazy swamp. It's it's got its own open world area. It's just small. I'm sure pissing off a ruthless warlord with a tribe of fanatically devoted warriors was a good move. How could it not be? It was your idea. I guess he means the Legion. Um, you tell me some of your stories again. I would like to talk to him a little bit more, but this is not the time. He need to head on without you. Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. See, he acts, he acts real happy to go with you anytime. Well, not real happy. Anytime you tell him to come with you, he's like, anything beats hanging out here. But when you dismiss him, he's also, like, super happy. It is. We'll meet up at Lucky 13. Lucky 38. I guess this is how I get him to go back to his uh, shed, maybe. But, yeah, Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. I'm a happy old ghoul. Fades into the far plane. Eddie, gonna have to do the same with you, my old friend. Turn to burst. Go hang out with Raul back there. Keep uh, Veronica company too. I hear the great cons got massacred again. No survivors this time though. Looking All right, let's, let's talk to you until you're out of stuff to say, just in case it makes a difference. I hear the great cons got. And then that person will talk some more. And uh, we might have to drop some gear. No survivors this time, though. There's a shipping crate. Howdy, friend. Howdy. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. Oh, I didn't hear the broadcast, actually. Uh, that's all, but I'll be back. Yeah. Sure. I didn't actually listen to the broadcast. Let's do that, just so we have a... Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm, I'm sure a caravan you. boss for the Happy Trails Caravan Company. If you're hearing this, I have a job offer for you. Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, humping it. we want you. If you've got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you, you can kindly go hang. If we like your gumption, 
We'll pay you square and treat you fair. Find me, Jed Masterson. I'm not going to tell you how much, and I'm just going to throw out a lot of old time wisdom. What the hell is 21 doing now? What the hell is 21 doing? Okay, that's that, that dude again. Are you here to join me away? Tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. <laughs> if we Plus don't, we'll all be bonus dead. If we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. I'm not sure why I mentioned it to you. Because you probably wouldn't have mentioned it to anyone else had I not said anything. Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Britches don't talk get about stitches. the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Uh, burn man I had heard of. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown. Sacktown? Up in the part of the MCR. I guess that means Sacramento, but it sounds like Testicle Town. They're on the middle loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Lost all contact, got me laying on my back, huh? Sounds like the Happy Trails isn't the best in the best financial shape. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't reestablish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. Why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Is it because it's really far away and we're all traveling on foot? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are the down Salt the old Lake I City or up the road. It's a place of the hope and too joy. Risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep and the raiders off. And if I want to go All there, just I just far. have to follow we that white horse. What are you talking about, New Canaan? Sorry, I sang over your whole dialogue. I'm thinking of the Book of Mormon. Unicorn. I don't remember all the words. There's, there's something about unicorn f flying. Salt Lake City. It's it's um, yeah. If you are a girl who grew up uh, in war torn Uganda and uh, someone tells you about Salt Lake City, you might think that unicorns fly there. It's a thing. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you don't. What can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from They're before the They're big war. fans of Cain, the WWE. Ark, a ways north of Zion. And they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. I wonder if this did. DLC is going to do something with, like, with the tribes in Zion. Well, polygamy. The ones that don't try to kill them anyways. That's what tends to happen when you have Mormon characters in games and uh, movies that were not written and produced by Mormons. You know anything about their religion? Do they uh, have polygamy, for example? I ain't a praying man myself. Bigamy? They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen, too. Yeah, um, the history of the Mormons is an easy place to get yourself in trouble, especially if you're not a Mormon and you're talking about it to Mormons. Uh... Suffice it to say, there was a lot of unrest between Mormons and non-Mormons in uh, the West back in the old days. And um, if you read books like Writers of the Purple Sage, they'll sort of paint Mormons as these villains who, you know, were just not good. Uh, but then you ask a Mormon historian, and they'll tell you that the Mormons were persecuted. And I wasn't there, so I don't know. <laughs> but... Um, the approach this guy has, that they treated him straight and he treats them straight, would would work. So let's go with that. Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Well, you can always get regular work. Um, Without new Canaanites. Listen to this again. Inside, the highway is too risky. Ogden's just too. Okay. That's about the questions. Shoot. I'm saying it's, what can you tell me about the area? I've been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? I can play caravan with him. Well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. 
Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all well, over the it's damn got place. Law, I Tribes of degenerates that Arizona are future suitors look at you. Regional warlords, the works. It sounds like not too many Uganda in the Book of Mormon. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Degenerate tribes, warlords. This all sounds pretty sweet. Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Degenerate tribes? Degeneration X? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. Uh -huh. The ones you really got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Ah, so you know, th that would be the Mormons per Riders of the Purple Sage. I think I got the name right. I might be mixing it up with a different book. It was um, Ronald Reagan's favorite book, apparently. It was the story about a uh, heroic cowboy passing through town. He falls in love with a uh, Mormon widow who is being persecuted by the town because she's a widow and she owns property and they won't let her because she's a woman and blah, blah, blah. It's a... Uh, you know, it's a fictional story which uh, paints Mormons in a very bad light. But yeah, this this uh, white legs kill anyone who ain't one of theirs. Yeah, that's pretty much how they uh, come across in that again fictional story. Tell me about the Raiders. Do they uh, are they in Oakland or L.A. now? They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on Kims, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the '80s. So he, he, they are football players now. Turf on this run. Well, somebody mentioned them in other dialogues, so I'm imagining that we would. Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there, but that was all on. Ah, uh, the they don't let outsiders in, huh? All the old or insiders ways in out. And out were destroyed after the war, but we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography. Well, I got that idiot over there carrying my gear, if that's okay. All right, how much weight am I allowed to bring? I bet you are, but you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack brahmin. Well, what if I bring a pack brahmin? Why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. There's a chest over yonder. You can store your extra in that. It'll be safe as can be until you get I was get hoping back. there was some kind of way I could have a speech check or something. Maybe... Yeah, I talked to you, and you were going to yeah, help me out. Yeah, this time. Well, whatever. I got my weight down fairly low. 51 more pounds. Oh, well, shoot. I don't even know. I've got enough in, uh... I guess I could lose all the grenades. That way it's nothing, but it doesn't have the two uh, lines like it never weighs anything. That's odd. 15 for my armor. I think a strong back perk actually affects this, oddly enough. Yeah, it's kind of weird that I even brought that. And where was the other rest of this weight? 16 from the 308 rounds. Oof. That's, that's being a lot of it right there.
it's just uh, dropped some, but not all. Dang, still not there, huh? Maybe I just don't get to bring a grenade launcher. Oh, it's fun to bring a grenade launcher, though. All right, we don't get to bring a grenade launcher. Don't get to bring that either. So we're down to a sniper rifle, which doesn't weigh much. We got machine guns up the wazoo. I got a machine gun and a backup machine gun, basically. Maybe I should have brought a lighter machine gun. Just need to lose a little bit more here. Come on, JG, figure something out. Banana yucca fruit. Thing is, I, I don't like leaving behind the doctor's bags because uh, it's a much bigger deal. Um, Why did I move away from the stealth boy? I don't use them that often. It feels like a cheat. I only use them when I'm really, really in bad shape. Are you here I'm at a hundred exactly. That should be it. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masters. I left my one of a oh, kind Mr. plasma Masters. cannon back um, in base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Listen, buddy. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, matter of fact, let's uh, call this one another slightly short video so that uh, we can start. You know, it's a whole video's worth of inventory management. Not really. We had a lot of dialogue in that. But yeah, we will start the next video traveling down the road to New Canaan. I'm Sirius JG, and thank you guys for watching. And uh, I don't want to hear no whining about your one-of-a-kind plasma cannon in the next video now. Bye-bye.